between e desk here, all the way from my desk top. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, wherever you are. Whatever it is that you're up to right now. However it is that you're feeling. I really hope that you're just trying like your best that you can do at this moment to become the best version of yourself tomorrow. There's no competition here. We are only competing with our own selves. One small change at a time. Tiny, tiny, tiny little changes. Every week, every month, every year. It adds up. And then one day you wake up and you realize how much you really know about what's the whole point of life. This is not about knowing more geography or science or biology. Or, no. This is knowing life. This is just a whole nother level. This is not saying we are the best at a sport or the best at a subject. This is saying that we can be the best at life. I mean, come on. There comes a time where we really have to get serious and smart about life. One has to remain open-minded, curious, because when you remain emotionally ignorant, the only person that you're really hurting is yourself, no one else. When you shut down and close off and put your ego walls up and nobody can penetrate the depths of your essence, you're the one that's stuck. You're the one that's stagnant. You're the one that's feeling like you're rotten inside. No one else. That's what they say that we must learn to forgive. Because when we carry that feeling of resentment, of hate, of anger with us, everywhere we go, everything we do, the only people that we're hurting, it's ourselves. But when you operate from ego, you think that by hating and not forgiving someone, you're being the bigger, better person, and you're wrong. Or they're wrong. Maybe you already know this. I'm sure you probably already know this if you're listening to this rant. You know there is something more to life than just this toxic interactions everywhere we go. But how do we even change that? Well, by first understanding what is toxicity. Why do we sit around and throw that word around back and forth? Toxic this, toxic that, she's toxic. I never hear anybody say I am toxic raise your hand if you consider yourself toxic deep inside what is toxic Toxic doesn't mean that someone is evil or that somebody's doing things on purpose. They may be doing it because they're operating from ego and their ego is really 
injured. If you think about it, our physical body is very apparent, very 3D. You break a bone, you go to the hospital, everybody's like, oh my God, you broke your leg. What can I do for you? But when we have broken feelings and nobody gets to see those broken feelings and then you express them in a certain way, doesn't come out off right in a way of doesn't make sense to the other people around them around you then that that means that maybe you're toxic too I used to be really toxic really really toxic I used to be really really good but I used to be really 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 toxic meaning we all have our essence right if you're giving if you're a little crazy or if you're a little you know just chill and quiet whatever it is that your personality traits are you know they're always there you're always that person but it's just masked by all this by all this defense mechanisms that our ego has created in order to defend to protect our broken feelings that nobody gets to see Half of humanity is emotionally handicapped. And I'm saying half just being nice. It doesn't mean that that's a bad or good thing. It just means that it is that way. So we just need to change it. Oh, but how are we ever going to change that? By changing yourself. That's how we're going to change it. We're not going to sit here and talk about how we're going to change the world by this. No, no, no. We're going to sit here and say... We're going to change ourselves. We're going to work on ourselves. We're going to become the best versions of ourselves. And as a consequence of that, the world around us will change. That's what changing the world really means. Today I invite you to come to terms with your own BS. Just like, just get out of the way. Like just sit down, take a piece of paper, a pen, marker, write it on a A shock board. Oh my God. It's been so long since I've seen one of those. And write down the things that you could improve about the way that you are right now. Are you operating from ego? Or do you usually operate from the heart? And then when you get angry or when you get hurt, because, you know, anger is just sad's bodyguard meaning angry people are just sad people but they mask it with anger i don't know if you ever heard that saying that angry or anger is sad bodyguard angry (laughs) it's just the same exact feeling expressed differently i used to be very angry I used to be the same way I am right now, but I didn't have that emotional regulator. I've been calling it an emotional regulator. Like it's like when when you go through the trauma in your childhood in one way or another, it doesn't have to be huge or it doesn't have to be anything. It just has to be when you go through that, which is 99.9% of all of us listening to this right now because it's very rare that parents used to prepare to be the best parents back then and if they were maybe they were in one area but not in the other or maybe they were good but then they also had their path kind of like us like we have one side and the other side so 
this whole rant right here right now is to invite you to call your own BS out to do the best that you can to make small changes every single day in order to trigger change this whole entire rant here right now is just to remind you of how strong you really are and how capable you really are if you make the decision and you start all you have to do is just start tiny little actions will multiply so soon that before before too long you're going to be like who is this person and you're looking in the mirror and now you like looking in the mirror <laughs> before you you will avo- you will avoid it all the way like oh, oh no here comes the mirror let me look the other way <laughs> it is crazy how mindsets and perspectives work like You can be younger and feel so ugly and then as you get older you feel prettier or more handsome just because of your self-confidence just because of your mindset so call your own toxic bs out surround yourself with the right environment aka don't hang out with other toxic friends and i know that's easier than said than done because hanging out with toxic friends it's 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 better than being alone and I, I understand that I've been there done that but you have to cleanse your energy like like imagine having to be I want to say imagine cleansing your whole entire being from the inside out with everything like making space how do you make space for new healthy habits new healthy relationships new healthy actions well by doing tiny little healthy actions every single day by choosing people that are on that same path as you It's cool that we want to help people and we want to save people and stuff, you know, like, oh, I see their potential. And I have plenty of friends that are not there yet, but because they are trying and they are expressing, an interest to become their better version, I stick around. But if you don't, I'm not going to keep in touch with you. Why would I? You know how long I've spent trying to change people's minds? It was a lot, a lot of years. And I'm not trying to play the victim here because I put myself in that position and I was the toxic one as well. But I wish somebody would have told me back then, hey, call your own toxic behavior out already and do this and this to change it. We were all so caught up into the ego battles, feasts. It was crazy. But without that, I wouldn't be able to say be able to express the difference between one and the other between toxicity and becoming the best version of yourself all in one lifetime i never even thought that it existed i didn't even know that it was what it was until it was it was crazy i've always had an urge to grow though i remember getting my first 
kind of self-improvement tiny little book at Walmart back in 2005. And he spoke about time and this and that. And it was just like really kiddish kind of uh, book layout. And I still have it. And I signed it. That's how I know it was back in 2005 or 2000. Maybe earlier than that. Maybe I'm maybe 2002 even. But it was just very in and out. So all I'm saying is don't expect to understand all of this all at once. Just focus on one thing. For the remainder of this month we're going to just call our own BS out. We don't have to do anything about it. We don't have to change it. We don't have to move a finger. We just have to be like, hey, I kind of get a little angry whenever someone doesn't agree with me. Or I'm a little manipulative when I don't get my own way. Or I'm a little bit codependent. Like, question yourself. Why do you act the way that you act? Like, come on, what else is there to do? Like, what, go to a bar again, go to a concert again. I mean, unless there, it's something about create or creating something or about finding out about something about how to live a better existence. I don't see the point of anything. I don't want to just hang out to hang out. I want to hang out with a more meaningful purpose. That's why at the moment I'm hanging out with you guys. This feels more meaningful than being talking nonsense to a stranger at a bar, trying to be cool, trying to please my ego, or I don't even know. trying to please my inability to hang out by myself because I get so bored that I don't know what to do. So I need someone else to inject me energy because I don't have my own energy to give myself. And that's fine that you don't have it. But it's not fine that you conform with not having it because you do have it. It's just stagnant. You got to get moving so you can start like filling up your own cup. You know, there's a term called energy vampires, right? Those are the people that we can all be energy vampires at one point in our lives. Like either you're codependent or you're the abusive person in the relationship there's always a give and take and they're both toxic so anyways i need to just really really shut up now i think that you got the point what's the point call your own bs out (laughs) till next time